Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the values of the gamma function for non-positive numbers. That is, values of the gamma function, gamma of n for n less than or equal to 0. The first value we are going to look at is gamma of minus 1 by 2. Now, by using the property that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n times gamma of n, and for n equal to minus 1 by 2, is equal to gamma of 1 by 2 is minus 1 by 2 multiplied by gamma of minus 1 by 2. We know that gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to square root of pi as derived in another video. So this implies that gamma of minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 2 multiplied by gamma of half which is equal to minus 2 times square root of pi. Therefore, gamma of minus 1 by 2 or negative half is equal to minus 2 times square root of pi. The second one is gamma of minus 3 by 2. Now, by using n equal to minus 3 by 2, we can write that gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to minus 3 by 2 multiplied by gamma of minus 3 by 2. Again, we are using the property that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n times gamma of n. Therefore, from this value, we can clearly see that gamma of minus 3 by 2 is equal to minus 2 by 3 multiplied by minus 2 into square root of pi. Therefore, gamma of minus 3 by 2 is equal to 4 by 3 into square root of pi. Third one is gamma of 0. Usually gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n times gamma of n for values of n not equal to 0. However, when you assume that, that is for under the assumption that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n times gamma of n for n equal to 0, then we have gamma of 1 is equal to 0 times gamma of 0. This in, and since gamma of 1 is equal to 1, this should be equal to 0 times gamma of 0. Therefore, gamma of 0 should be infinite. Now, for the value of gamma of minus 1, again under the assumption that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n times gamma of n for n equal to 0, gamma of 0 can be written as minus 1 into gamma of minus 1. And since gamma of 0 is infinite, so is gamma of minus 1 is infinite. Thus, gamma of any number n, that is a member of negative integers, the gamma of n should be infinite. Thus, for the negative numbers, the gamma function is finite only for non-integers and the gamma function is infinite for all the negative integers. Thanks for watching.